Today's journey takes us on a unique trip to one of the most fascinating places in the United States, Colonial Williamsburg in Virginia. In one of the cities in which independence began taking hold, we journey along the streets and paths that the colonialists walked, those who played a pivotal role in the formation of our nation. And while we stroll through this city, we are going to take a look at a few cemeteries located in and around Colonial Williamsburg. In a place known for its historical significance, we look at these hauntingly beautiful final resting places. Join us here at Whit Docks as we visit a few of the cemeteries in and around the city. Let's go on a captivating adventure through time. Behind these iron gates located right next to the Capitol here in Williamsburg is the Jones Family Cemetery. This isn't just a standard family cemetery as the Jones Cemetery is shrouded in mystery and legends. This small, secluded cemetery is said to have deep connections to the town's colonial history. In visiting, you can't help but feel a sense of reverence and intrigue. The tombstones here are weathered with time, each one a testament to the lives that once thrived in this historic town. The Jones family, who were prominent in the colonial era, played a significant role in the growth and development of Williamsburg. One of the Jones daughters is part of a legend that transcends the cemetery itself, almost taking a life of its own. The daughter was in love with a young man in Williamsburg. It is said that one night she snuck out of the house through a window and ran to meet him. Upon doing so, she was struck by a carriage and killed. She is laid to rest here, and the house in which this supposedly occurred is right beside the cemetery. There are others laid to rest here who also played a role in the town's history. Beyond the tales of the Jones family, the cemetery's shaded corners hold secrets yet to be fully revealed. Whispers of lost treasure, ghostly encounters, and unexplained phenomena have made this cemetery a subject of fascination for locals and visitors alike. Being here reminds us of the layers of history buried beneath our feet and encourages us to keep exploring and unearthing the stories that have shaped our lives today. On to the northern part of town just beyond the capital, we find the Waller Cemetery. The Waller Cemetery is fenced in, so we can only view from this area. It is apparent that this cemetery holds great significance. Within this cemetery is the final resting place of Elizabeth Tyler Waller, a notable figure in this community. And just why would Elizabeth Tyler Waller be notable? She was the daughter of President John Tyler. So, the final resting place of a former U.S. president is right here in this cemetery. The Waller Cemetery serves as a window to the past, allowing us a small glimpse into the lives of prominent individuals from Colonial Williamsburg. The Waller family in particular played a significant role in shaping the town's history and their presence can still be felt today. I always like to remember during my cemetery visits that each stone represents a unique story and in this case represents a chapter in the rich tapestry of Colonial Williamsburg. This location on our visit was my favorite of today's journey. Standing tall since the early 18th century, Bruton Parish Church is a magnificent example of colonial architecture. Its stately presence and exquisite craftsmanship serve as a testament to the religious devotion and cultural heritage of the area. Simply put, this place is from a different time, reminding us of the pivotal role that this place played in the lives of the colonial community. But beyond the walls of this church lie the hallowed ground of its burial site, the final resting place of an unknown amount of people, both renowned and unknown, this place silently bears witness to the lives of those that lie here. 
There are several influential figures from Colonial Williamsburg resting here, from community leaders to soldiers to craftsmen. The diversity of those that rest here only goes to show the importance of their lives in Colonial Williamsburg. There were some barriers up in this cemetery, so we are not able to look at all of the stones. However, we were able to find the final resting place of this man, Daniel Park Custis. He is laid to rest at Bruton Parish Church Cemetery with some of his children. He would be married to Martha Dandridge Custis. Does that name sound familiar? Well, after Daniel's death, his widow Martha would go on to marry a man named George. George Washington. So you are looking at the final resting place of Martha Washington's first husband and some of her children. George Washington, along with other colonial leaders of the day, worshipped inside the walls of the church. Being primarily a cemetery channel with a secondary focus in history, I knew that I had to do my best to find some of the cemeteries in Colonial Williamsburg and bring some of my findings to you. When I first decided to produce this video, I knew that I would find some good history associated with my journey, but I had no idea that I would find the very interesting stories that I found in the Jones Cemetery, the final resting place of the daughter of a president in Waller Cemetery, and of course, Martha Washington's first husband and children in Bruton Parish Church Cemetery. This whole area of Colonial Williamsburg is a true piece of American history colonial history. This location and the history associated with it really touches all of us here in the United States in some fashion or another. I hope you enjoyed our visit to the cemeteries of Colonial Williamsburg and a look at the city. Please like and subscribe for similar videos and join me for more. Once again, from Colonial Williamsburg in Williamsburg, Virginia, I will see you again soon.